Well guys, how's it going? Adam from Basically Open Cards and Basically I Open Cards. Today we are doing some magic cards. Today we're just doing the March of the Machine draft boosters. We got these somewhat cheaply, so I thought let's give them a go. I've been getting back into magic lately, playing Commander with my brothers and nephews. But let's smash open these. There are a few cards in this. Uh, not too bad. Um, they've got some numbered cards in this. I don't know if I can get them from draft lifters. They made these cards so confusing now. I don't know whether you can only get the cool numbered ones from the collector's packs or if you can manage to get them from draft boosters. So draft boosters are more inclined to when you're playing the game mode draft. So you can basically build up based on obviously the packs. So let's get straight into it. 15 cards. I don't know how they set these up, but we'll stay straight away. Okay, cool. They do these in uh, common. So we'll start off with Protocol Knight. Anyone who plays this game or even cares too much about this set probably know what's going on already. So we'll just go through it normally. Phyrexian. Yeah, it seems to be mostly Phyrexian cards, I'm assuming. Everything will be based on that. Okay, we get into our uncommon. sorry. We'll slow down, I went a bit too quick there. Uncommons are Phyrexian Wizard, or Phyrexian Sensor, sorry. Then Lithomantic Barrage, Mirror Shield Hoplite. Pretty cool. We'll go back to Common for some reason. Okay, then we get a Legendary of Invasion of Chandler. I don't know if this is a flip. Yes, it is a flip. And then we get a rare and Fenza Kin Tree Spirit. Spirit Soldier, whenever another non-token creature enters a battlefield under your control, bolster one. Okay put that there anyway swamp and then token so that's kind of cool we'll put that like that. token on land <coughs> okay I don't know if we get two rare cards or one was just random but usually we're given hollows but I'm not sure if that's the case in here and I don't know if that's considered a showcase or what but let's continue anyway I don't know what is going on. Uh, that looks kind of cool. Artifact. There's a common, so the odds on them being good. There's a common, it's highly unlikely. So, okay, I love Forager. Fairy Rogue. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say Epstein's Death. I don't know how I got that out of Elspeth's Smite. Captive Wizard, is this a flip card as well? Yes it is. Okay, so the little triangle now means, must mean flip. I like this one too. And, okay. Tribute to the World Tree. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. If its power is three or greater, otherwise put two one one counters on it. Okay. And, Finn the Fane Bearer. Every creature you control with Death Touch deals combat damage to a player. That player gets two poison counters. And there's the Hopper. Converter Beast. I do like to call so I'll put them aside. Token of an elemental. And both cards on the tab. From both sides of the battlefield, you gain one life. Okay, that's kind of cool. Nothing to particularly awesome yet that I know of, though I didn't read Invasion of Shandalaf. So, is there any good cards here that I'm kind of skipping through? You may harass me in this 
kind of don't know what's going on. I wouldn't look too well into this set. Uh, Seraph of New Capona. Okay. I do like my angel cards. So I'll put that aside. Uh, invasion of Mercedia. There we go. No, it's all war crafting. This is just a standard rare. Deal 12 damage to target creature, plane work or battle. Look at the top X of your cards, lie where X is the excess damage. You may exile one of those cards, put the rest at the bottom. Okay, what's this? Some type of. I forget what they call them. That was the legendary creature. At the beginning of combat on your turn, for each aura and equipment attached to Velda, keep it a flame, create a 3 1 element or creature token with trample. It's kind of cool. Okay, now this, this is cool. So we get a foil, foil rare, Ayara Widow of the Realm. Which is kind of cool. I said I like my foil, so if it's a rare foil, it's even better. We've got a swamp and we got a monkey. So let's just leave up the foil just in case. I don't think it should be, it will be anything good, but it's good to sleep up the foils just in case. I'll go through Troll and Toad, where I get my prices. I'll see which of these are actually worth anything. Until then. Okay, Fungus Rabbit sounds pretty cool. Go through these commons as you do, and here we go. Here we go. Stand, still got Moloch, uh, Friction Gargantua, Nezumi Free Wheeler, Red Samurai. That's kind of cool. Uh, invasion of Dominaria. Now rare is a grafted butcher, Phyrexian Samurai. When he enters the battlefield, Phyrexians you control gain menace until end of turn. Other Phyrexians you control get 1-1. One, one. Sacrifice an artifact or creature returning to grave out of the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. And we have Iago Glutton of Urbog. I uh, don't know what type of card that is. Incubator. I don't know what the picture is called. Is they're considered showcases or what? I don't know how they work. But we're down on the last pack. Let's hope for one of those numbered cards, if they even exist in these packs, which I'm not sure. Anyone well accustomed to magic can leave it down in the comment section. So I don't know how these packs work anymore. That's pretty cool. Even the common cards are looking especially sick nowadays. In Samurai and starting now, I think. Yep. Furnace Gremlin looks pretty cool. Oracle of Tragedy. Sculpted Perfection that looks pretty sick. Uh, Nizumi, a freewheeler again, and Invasion of. Vada. He enters a battlefield, return target non battle permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's kind of cool. And. Okay, let's do that. Creature tokens you, you control get 1 0 and have life link. Okay, that's pretty cool. <coughs> Darn, that's a legendary and it goes up there. Okay, Ignorunize. When Ignorunize enters the battlefield, scry three. When Ignorunize dies, draw three cards. If three or more creatures died this turn. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, dual land spirit token. Well, I seriously don't know what's happening here. Uh, when invasion suddenly enters the battlefield, return up to three to your permanent from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. So does that tap it once I use it? At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put any permanent card from your hand into the battlefield. It seems a bit OP. 
but maybe this it depends. I'm not entirely well versed. I have to play cards until I figure them out. Okay, that seems pretty cool. Then I'll look at it. Well, now there, uh, whenever another non-token creature ent enters a battlefield under your control, bolster one, which is the least toughest among creatures, get one one. That seems pretty cool for like for my mono white deck, you know. Especially if it's just a two two mana for a two two with a cool for, cool um ability like that. It's pretty thick, but. With that, I'm gonna end. I don't know what's gonna be considered the best. Because this is a four, probably this. I like this card. Whether it's good or not, I don't know. Um I guess we'll just have to play the rarity game, I'll say. This, then this, and then I just like this. But it could be any other card. But with that, as a cheeky little opening, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, cheeky sub, helps me out a lot. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Bye.